Well, first of all, I would like to say that wherever we see suffering, wherever we see death and destruction, especially of young people, assault, sexual assault, we see Dershowitz to the rescue. The former defense attorney of Jeffrey Epstein, a man himself accused I of rape. I knew we would get to that. I knew... I, I, I didn't you know, give you permission I, to interrupt Pierce, me. I didn't Pierce, give you permission to you interrupt said me. No I stayed quiet hands. when you were talking. Okay, but I, okay here's what I would say. I stayed quiet okay, when you were talking. Hang on, hang on. Here's what I would say. The merits. I didn't and give you permission to attacking, uh, Listen, Mohammed, attacking a lawyer yes. for defending people is a stupid argument. Well, right? I'm, not, it, I'm it, not making an argument yet. Well, you, well, you're just using that. I'm not a, making an argument. Ad attack straight off the top. A, Has the, he got leverage on you? Is that no, why he's, you're, a, he's a brilliant lawyer. I saw your lawyer. picture with Maxwell. He, he's got leverage on you. He's a brilliant lawyer. Are you I saying make, that because he's got leverage on I you? I make Ghislaine Maxwell for five minutes at a book launch. You look very happy with her. Do you condemn uh, Dershowitz? For what? For defending no, I, Epstein. I, I have defended, and being proud I have of defending Epstein. Some you defend of the best, it's not for me to defend him for that. Some All of the I can tell you is in the world. Okay, I def- Alan, Alan, you I defend yourself. Defend Why should he defend Mandela? himself? Alan I haven't defend even spoken for 20 seconds. Alan can defend himself. Well, let me speak for more than 20 to seconds. I haven't even made my point yet. I helped to defend so two Bill Clinton. Now, I've helped to defend some of the finest people in the yeah, world. I've also helped to defend some of the worst. He defended. Is that a terrible He was not proud of defending John Lennon the same way as he announced that he was proud of defending. Epstein. What's this got to do with Israel? This has got to do with the fact that this just man, like, the credibility just like of this man John is on the Adams line. He defends Israel defend on the one hand, the and on the other hand, he defends Epstein. I think the public should know this. Do you want me to, play, do you want me to play the clips? He's proud do you of me, it. Mohammed, do you want me to play the clips of you and I don't know, do the rounds I don't, on social media I, yeah, yeah, saying I, some very inflammatory no problem. things? I, I, do you want me to? Why are you not looking at me? Because I'm looking at the three of us. I'm right here. You can turn to me, then the viewers see me and you look at Look at me man to man. Fine. Look at me man to man. Look at my eyes. Yes, it's called an aesthetic thing for videos. Okay, now, the first thing I wanted to say was that this man's credibility is something which is shocking that is even, we're even entertaining. What do you base it on? On the fact that he actually defended Epstein and after the fact, he said he was proud of it. He was in Epstein's vicinity. He was in Epstein's vicinity. He had a massage in his vicinity. This is the kind of person that we're having on the show defending Israel. That's the first thing I want to say. The second thing is, in the first interaction where me and you were talking about October the 7th, Mm. We spent about three or four minutes actually talking about sexual assault allegations, if you remember that. And actually here, what we have is Israeli soldiers like Mir from Unit 100, and that's on The Guardian, it's on Sky News, it's on all these kinds of platforms, coming out and there's videographic evidence of him raping another man. I haven't heard condemnation from you, and I don't expect to hear it from him who defended Epstein. But this, is the sh- this shows you the bias, the bias in the coverage for a year, well, we know the ICJ have said that there's a plausible genocide. You haven't been watching my show. I think I have. No, you haven't. You're have talk- you have you spoken about you're me? You're talking complete bullshit. Okay, tell me why. Right? Tell me why. Because a, I did condemn what you've just talked yeah. about yeah. in a previous Good. debate. Good. Right? Dershowitz, do you condemn it? Yes, of course. I condemn any rape of anybody in any assault on anybody who's in captivity. And of you also I condemn and the right of rape. I don't defend. Of rape, I uh, don't the right defend of rape protest that took place in Israel. And you acknowledge that I, there's a problem in Israel with this. If any place, they will be investigated they will be fully investigated they will be court martialed and if Israeli anybody society, is convicted of that they deserve their punishment do you punishment. acknowledge that there's a problem, the problem, the problem what about the problem with Hamas sure. raping women I have no compunction the I have no compunction uh, condemning Hamas for anything that they've done you've said that you've asked me before and I've told you before I have no moral scruple neither do the majority of the Muslim world I tell you now, anything that Hamas has done, we have condemned in the first instance. But we're not seeing the same level of coverage with Hamas as we are seeing with these people that are shoving rods off people's ass and raping people on videographic evidence. And you have 3,000 people, you talk about the hostages, you've got 3,000 people in essentially captivity, according to Human Rights Watch and Bet Salem, who are prisoners of war of Israel. And we are spending a fraction of the time speaking about them as compared to speaking about the hostages. This shows you the inherent well, there's no comparison. There's no comparison between innocent hostages who what? did nothing wrong and people who are being charged with criminal offenses. They're if not they're charged innocent, with criminal offenses. That's why you're, you're meant to know better. You're and meant to know better they are than that. They're not charged with criminal offenses. They're not charged with criminal offenses. You can't compare. They are arrested without charge. You can't compare a three-year-old char- baby. They're not charged with criminal offenses. Don't shout over each other. We can't hear the answer. Well, he's lying to the public. Allow him to respond. Go ahead. To somebody who's a member of Hamas. Say that. Sorry, again. Adam. We couldn't hear because he was shouting. I was shouting. Say it Alan, again. Alan, he says the three thousand. You can't compare Alan, Alan, he a three-year-old says the 3, 000, baby. Alan, just to be clear, he said the three thousand people he's talking about were all arrested without charge, and therefore they're not. They've not been charged with crimes. Your response to that? 
Well, if they were, they should be released. Nobody should be arrested Good without boy. charge. If you're Good held boy. for a security so reason. Pathetic. I will say what I want. It's great, uncensored. Great. Good boy. Let, let me finish, please. Let me, let me make boy. my point. Try to have a Can proper I make debate. My point, I'll please. say what I like. Can I make my point, please? Can I make my point? Let me make my point. Great Britain can find tens of thousands of people without charges during the Second World War. Two wrongs don't make States a right. Did. The moment Alan Dershowitz is being very civilized in the way he's debating. I'm sure you're going to say that. You're just making he might have leverage on you. attacks and shouting all he's the time. He's your friend. No one can understand it when you have shout. Have you met him before? Time. I know Alan well. Oh, you know him well. I respect him very much. Oh, yes, you do. He's one of America's top lawyers. His top lawyers. Yeah, uh-huh. he is. Aha, uh-huh. you're an unbiased person here on Central. An unbiased person about <laughs> Alan Dershowitz? Why? Does he have leverage on you, Piers Morgan? There's no leverage on me, no. You've got a picture with Maxwell. Yes, with Gillian Maxwell. Did you go to the island? No, I've never been to the island. I've never met Jeffrey Epstein. Be honest. I never spent more than five minutes with Be Gillian honest. Maxwell. I've answered you. So what part of that was your... Do you condemn him being on the island? He's your ask, good friend. You can ask, no, ask him, you him about Jeffrey Epstein. You had a massage. He represented him. He said he didn't take his shorts off. Do you know what? That's None what of this has got said. anything to do with Israel. He said he didn't take his shorts off when he was this, getting a can massage. You st- Please, Mohammed. Why is this uncomfortable? It's nothing to do with the debate. He's taking shorts off, but he's got his pants down now, hasn't he? Can you stop it? Why? What's the point? Why? He's defended actually... one of the most obnoxious people in the last hundred years. Why Which should I stop it? Actually, what is going on right Why should now I stop it? in the Middle East is incredibly important. Yes, and, and you have this man who's... You are trivialising that. Well, if you didn't want to do a debate, don't agree to do it. Who said I'm not going to do a debate? I'm saying this person who's defending Israel... Stupid ad hominem attacks. It's pathetic. Oh, oh, OK. All right, you're, is your good friend you want to defend him so much? What are you talking about? You're defending him. Huh? You're defending him. You're defending a monster. I'm a de- pervert. An old pervert. He's not a pervert or a monster. Why is he not? He knew uh, Epstein. And for us, there's good info. Why are you doing this, Mohammed? Why not? Let's talk about Iran. Let's talk about Iran. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Do you support Iran? Okay. Well, let me answer your question. Iran was attacked on April the 1st, right? It was attacked. The embassy of Iran was attacked in Syria by Israel. After that, on the first occasion, they then sent missiles and drones, correct? Now, my question to you is, does Iran have a right to defend itself? And if so, what is a proportionate response? Because you see, I've been getting, I've been having a moral quandary about the issue. Uh, Piers Morgan, what's a proportionate response for Iran? I'll tell you what I think about Iran. I think Ah. Iran is an unbelievably nefarious place, which has been fueling Hamas, the Houthis, Hezbollah, Does that have for right many to years itself? with a joint Does that have right to defend a joint itself? ideology that they want to eradicate Israel in any way they can. Okay. Does that so right I, I think itself? Iran is one of the most despicable Does regimes right in the world. Yeah. I also think that right now, the Iranian regime is in serious danger. You look completely of, discombobulated. Of, what, what do you mean? You look disheveled. I'm telling you what I think of Iran. I'm asking you, do they have a right to defend themselves? Do you, do you think they have a right to defend themselves? Both of you can answer the question. Do they have a right to defend? They were attacked. The sovereign nation was attacked. My question is, does it have a right to defend Iran has been fueling Isn't attacks that on Israel now for what, 40 years? I've been having a moral quandary about what? this. I've been having a moral quandary about Iran. Have you? Yeah, moral quandary, yes. Moral quandary, I don't know. Do they have a right to defend themselves? And if so, what is the proportion of so You're response? supporting Iran, to be clear. I'm asking you. No, Are I'm you not supporting, supporting Iran? I'm not supporting. I'm antithetical to many of these organizations mm. for my own purposes. But my question you, to you. Do you support the Iranian regime? Not unconconditionally, but I, can do, I support their right. What conditions do you agree with them about? Their right to defend themselves. Do you believe mm. they have a right to defend themselves? Uh, no, because they're a terrorist. terrorist oh, terrorist. so they don't have a right mm. to defend themselves? Iran oh. does not have a right to defend oh, itself. They, they do, but they're not the ones. So what is proportionate response? They're not the ones. What's the a proportionate response? Okay. No, it's, it's, can I answer it? You asked this question to the You're people. You're just going to keep talking. Can I answer it? What's the proportionate response? The proportionate response to Iran is mm. to stop them trying to destroy Israel through their proxies, Hezbollah, the Houthis, and Hamas. What have they been trying to do for many years? What is a proportionate response of Iran after their embassy was smashed and destroyed in Syria and 16 people were killed? What's the proportionate response? Well, what about the proportionate response to everything Iran's done? Which is against the Vienna Conventions. You don't have one peer-reviewed work on international law. And Jimmy Carter, the former US president, said, you have no knowledge of Palestine. Don't speak to me about Palestine and issues. Jimmy Carter, well, a former president of the United fi- States, as you acknowledge, have- you've written it in your book. He says that you have no knowledge of the Palestine issue. Jimmy Carter said that. Don't speak to me Well, like you that. want to hear something? Yeah, it the wasn't only thing you have knowledge about fact, is where the doors in the and back, the rooms and the masseuses are. It was in the back and cover of my book. I've written, That's what you have knowledge of. I've written 13 books. Did you touch I've Virginia? Did you touch her? On Israel, Did you touch Virginia? Some of which Did you been, touch her? Did you touch that woman? Never heard of her. Never met her. Never met Don't her. Don't lie. Never she. Don't lie to me. Don't. Did you touch that woman or not? I'm telling you, I never met her, and she acknowledged ah, did you in touch writing, that under oath, did you that she may have, have no knowledge of his case, do you? Well, you wouldn't I'm be asking me more questions. You're repeating how, why you the case. Case. He's not Because he won a case. It was proven to be lies. I'm asking him why a question. Why are you doing this? I'm asking him a question. 
This I'll is not about Israel. This is, this You're is trying to be a clever deal, but what you're doing is inviting a lawsuit from London, which you will get. I'm ready for it. You are? Yeah. I'll, really? I've got four defamation good. cases, all of which good. have... Your friend Douglas Murray, I'm taking him to court. Well, good luck and, with taking on Anon yeah. on this, is all I would I'm say I'm ready you. for him. Oh, you, you love him, don't you? No, he's just one case. I just wonder what he has. himself. I, I just wonder what leverage he has. Does he have any leverage on God, you? God, it's pathetic, man. I don't know. Why you keep, why'd you keep the defending? He's why now you, accusing me of the story. Why are you thinking that? He's a monster. Right. This man is a monster. Well, why debate then? Because I don't mind debating monsters, just like you don't mind debating monsters. We, we have that in common. Do you want to finish the debate about the bigger picture or not? I'm speaking about it. You guys are the ones rattled. I'm not rattled. No one's rattled. We just think it's pathetic. You're both rattled. We think it's pathetic because you don't understand what you're talking about. Really? That's just an ass- 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 assertion, really, isn't it? No, you're just trying to get your clicks on X, and that's fine. Oh, is that what you do? Is there anything wrong with that? No, you know what? Try and debate the issue. <laughs> you, you always brag about it, my Try friend. Try and debate you the issue. You brag about it myself. You, 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 oh, we've got a million uh, views, two million views. You talk about it all the time. Alan, Mohammed, do you think Hezbollah are terrorists or freedom fighters? I have an antithetical view to Hezbollah, and that's been well documented in the record. However, What's, what's this... your view? I don't know. Well, I, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going to be baited into a sectarian debate. Just here. ask you if you comment about Hezbollah. Sure, I don't. Nec- I have an antithetical view to Hezbollah. However, on this what case, mean? what I mean by that is that I don't necessarily support them in any way, shape, or form. Right. How? Because of how do you categorize them? I categorize Hezbollah in their response to Israel as justified in that response. And in their response for Assad in Syria, clearly, against then, fellow Arabs. Yeah. Well, you and I both know that, that I have an antithetical view. I don't think that they were on the right side of history. Then I, I do think they were acting in. So a, they were terrorists then? Uh, well, I mean, it depends on how. I think the word terrorism is a social construct. What were the they? What were they when they fought for Assad? Uh, against oppressive. Arabs? Oppressive, and that's on the record. There's no doubt about it. You can call whatever you want. But the so word- they're all the things that you would say Israel is. When, when they were doing the thing with Bas- Bashar al-Assad, mm. that is, of course, my view. But they're only that thing when they're doing that. When they're attacking Israel, that's fine. When they attacked Israel, the- when they're attacking Arabs, Hold on. on behalf of Bashar al-Assad, no, but that, that shows consistency. No, hang on. Doesn't that show consistency? No. Why not? It doesn't show consistency. It shows consistency. The inconsistency is that you think that that was bad, but when they're attacking Israel, okay. that's fine. Let's respond. On the 8th of October, you mentioned many times before in your interviews that they attacked Israel. Uh, yes. They attacked Israel, right? They did. That's not true. They did. They attacked the Sheba Farms, which is occupied territory. Which Israel has, has claimed huh? as its own since 1967. Huh? Wait a minute, which Israel it's occupied territory. Which Israel it's has o- claimed as its own See, this since shows, 1967. This, this shows your lack of knowledge on the matter. It does. Well, it part of what I just said is uh, not true. They claimed it as their own since 67. Wait, hold on. This is occupied territory, according to the UN, according to the US. Mm. It's occupied territory. I just the- said Israel have claimed it as so its own. So what? They can claim. I can claim what I want. ISIS have made many claims. So, um, so given, it it, given Israel... Wait, hold on. Whatever Israel claims is true. Is that what we are meant to believe here? Hezbollah co- has fired beyond the Sheba farms. Now, let me explain. Hezbollah the Sheba farms were the... Cities. Hold on, hold on. Israel hold has, on, Dershowitz. Uh, uh, Dershowitz, I haven't finished yet. Haifa. Dershowitz, Dershowitz, I haven't finished yet. On the 8th of... You talked about the 8th of October. When they fired on the 8th of October, they fired and I... You can go ahead and bring evidence that they fired anywhere else other than the Sheba farms. They, they fired on the Sheba farms. After that, there was response from Israel. And then after that, because there was response of Israel into Lebanon, then Hezbollah attacked the northern part of Israel. This is what happened. And that is justified according to international law. So on this issue, you will not find differences between Sunnis and Shias. You'll not find differences in us. We are all united in the hatred of the Zionist entity. Mahmoud, you've, you've said so far, unless I'm wrong, uh-huh. You don't support Hamas, you don't support Hezbollah. Uh-huh. So there's probably more bits of agreement here with Alan Dershowitz for <laughs> me than you might like to admit if you don't support those two groups. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I don't see what that's got to do with anything. We were, just talking, a great, just we were talking about... We were talking about... October I said at the start I wanted to find points we of talk- agreement. Sure. Can we all agree that Hamas and Hezbollah are a bad thing. I can agree that the white man, the Western man, has tried to use social constructs like terrorism to try and absolve themselves from all the things that they- What would you call them, Hamas and Hezbollah? Well, I mean, just like any human being, they can sometimes be oppressive, and some, some, they can sometimes be on the right side of history. Most human beings do not do what H- Hamas did on October the 7th. Well, in, in the Zionist entity, they do. And they do worse no, than they that. They don't. They don't. Israel's never committed a, an ah. atrocity on that scale. Ah. On what scale? On that scale. Explain. What scale? Killing 1,200 people. They've killed 40,000. Sorry, in one day, massive. They've killed 40,000. 40, Israelis who could get their Wait, hands on. Hold on. Kidnapping in, on children. On the 23rd of September, what happened? Kidnapping Holocaust on survivors. The 20th, we were talking about October raping the Raping and abusing women. Huh? Beheading people. Oh, you don't think that happened, do you? Well, hold on. You just said raping and abusing. We just started yes. to show with an admission that there's a problem in Israeli society. Mm. That there was I'm mere... talking about Hamas. Yeah, but you just said Israel doesn't we do We both that. condemned what you talked about earlier in relation to Israel. So why are you Israel? saying Israel don't do that? What's wrong with you? I didn't say that. You just said that now. No, I didn't. You said Israel doesn't do it, and then you just listed three or four things. 
things, and that was one of the things that you just No, I said Israel had never... Am I speaking a foreign tongue? Sorry, listen to what I'm saying. I said Israel never perpetrated an atrocity on that scale. Okay. On the one day of, on against the, the people how many of the Palestine. How many civilians... They civ civ never have. Wait, hold on. How many, civ <laughs> how many civilians died on October the 7th? Civilians. Uh, civilians, about 800. Oh, sure. All right. But, but hang well, on. Hold on. But Let's... nearly 7,000 more were wounded. Sure, sure. 7,000 sure. What happened on the 23rd more of September? were wounded. What happened on the 23rd of September? Seven thousand okay sure think about that number. okay no problem that's the scale of people who were attacked okay. on that day are we talking over each other it's two on one now. eight thousand on people were attacked no problem on the 23rd one of the most horrendous terror attacks is this going to be a monologue or is it a dialogue history. i'm telling you some facts i know the facts. you may not like it but i'm telling you them okay i'm telling you on the 23rd of september israel attacked lebanon how many people died how many civilians died according to the lebanese the ministry of health i believe it's about 2000 was the last recorded number i saw no, in one day in on the 23rd Inclu of september, including combatants including many combatants no, no, on, on the 23rd how many died well, how, how many, many died they, why don't we have they, they, a we don't year many commemorating the 23rd died. of a year commemorating the 23rd of September, since we're having a year commemorating the 7th of October and about 600 people died, 650 people, civilians died on that day. That's quite close, isn't it? We right. don't 8, know they're civilians. They don't 8, distinguish 000? between 8, civilians and people we're, talk, we're, we are, we're not talking about attack. We're talking about dead. Mm. What's wrong with you? Why are you not looking at me again? You're crying. Are you crying? Because the viewers are seeing the three of us together. I see that there's tears in your eyes. There are no tears in my eyes. What's going on? There's a slight sense of exasperation. Sure, there should be, hmm. because you are employing the What do you think I am? I think you, you said it yourself with your interview with Mehdi Hassan. I think you're just biased. You talked about tribes. Who am I biased minute. against? You're biased against anything anti-Western, clearly. You said- What the, a the, ridiculous statement. Because you said it yourself. You said the reason why you have such and such a view with Russia do and Do you think Ukraine, I was biased when I led the me media campaign against the Iraq war? No, I think you were- Was I good. biased against you were brown good. people you were, then? You were good then. Was I? You were, like oh, I, said, I was good then, because you agreed with me. Sure, because yeah. you're on the side of truth. Just like I could say, Hezbollah was not on the side of truth in uh, 2013, mm. but they're on the side of truth today. I can mm. say this, mm. and even though they're Muslims just like me, just like I can say that Hamas is wrong for doing such and such a thing, but they're right on such and such a thing. Mm. I can say all these things. You should be able to do the same thing. What have Hamas been right about? Resisting, because they're the occupied territory. Does Palestine have a right to defend itself? Does Hamas have a right to defend itself exclusively against military targets? Everybody has the right to defend themselves. So Hamas can do that against military targets? What they did not tell themselves is not self-defense. It was my, a terror attack. Hold on. I'm not saying Al-Qaeda had the right to but that's not, that, that, that's not on my, September. The, we both agreed that the civilian death is, is something which we both condemn. Yeah? We're talking about areas of agreement. You just said it yourself. I'm saying now, do you agree that Hamas has the right because they're an occupied territory? Gaza is an occupied territory. According to the UK, by the way, they're an occupied territory because of effective military control. According to the UK... They and ended the, their occupation in 2005. No, no, hold on. Ended ended the you're meant to be intelligent. You're meant to know this fact. According to the UK government, according to the US fact. government, and you can check it up online. And according to the UN, all three organizations, Gaza is an occupied territory. Alan, let me ask you this. The, one of the many problems I have with what Israel has been doing in terms of the scale of what it's been doing, but also what has been going on on the West Bank with the increased settlements, very aggressive expansion of settlements, I think is completely outrageous. I agree. But once I agree. you said before, can we all agree on that? Yeah, we can. But well, I am agreed opposed on that. to Israel's policies on the West Bank. I think Israel should continue a military occupation of the West Bank, just like I thought it should have continued a military occupation of Gaza. But I'm opposed and have been opposed to civilian settlements you since 1967. Said, right? And I'd like to see them ended in a process <laughs> that leads to a two-state solution. By the way, I'm curious whether my fellow guest here supports yeah, the I right agree. of Israel to you exist the two as solution? the nation state of the Jewish people alongside side of Palestinian state. Do you agree that Israel has the right to exist as the nation state of the Jewish people? Yes or no? I think it's a viable option. In 2002, in 2002, not just uh, Hamas agreed to this, by the way, in what's called the Arab Initiative. The Arab no, Convention. they didn't. Hold on, let me... You've just no, asked me a didn't. question. You've asked me a question. You can check me. You can check. You can fact check me. In 2002, there was something called the Arab Convention. And in fact, Iran itself was part of it, even though it's not an Arab country, but it was part of the 2002 Arab Convention. And they both said, so long as Israel does not occupy Gaza, it does not occupy the Golan Heights, and it does not occupy the West Bank, which you just advocated for, then there can be a two-state solution. Even Hamas, Hezbollah That's mentioned false. the same thing. I am a strong supporter of a two-state solution in which Israel can live in peace. That's all Israel has ever wanted since 1948 when it was attacked in a genocidal war. Oh, 1967, 1973. Really all Israel points. wants to do is live this in is peace. And if Israel can live in peace with 
with a Palestinian neighbor that's peaceful, yeah, yeah. that would be my dream. What is wrong with that? As an an, what is wrong with that as an ambition? Well, he said what Israel wants to do is live in peace. And I think what Israel wants to do is pe have pieces of other people's land. And as he's just agreed a second ago, and you didn't even challenge him on it, which I find quite incredulous actually, is that he said, I think that the West Bank should have military, should be military occupying, the uh, Israel should be military occupying Absolutely. the West Bank. Absolutely. He says, he says that. Absolutely. Now, Occupation. Of course, just, as long as there's belligerency, why can't I speak? there should be an why, occupation. Why, why, why are you interrupting me? Yeah. I've let you speak for a very long time. I've sp I let you speak for a very long time. Now you're interrupting me. I didn't we'll give you permission to interrupt that. me. I didn't give you permission to interrupt me in this manner. What I'm saying to you is, according to international law, there cannot be occupation of one sovereign nation over another. It doesn't seem like you care about international right. law. What do you mean? Yeah. Wrong. No, you're just wrong. Okay, just be United quiet for a second. United States occupied Japan. Just be quiet. United States just, occupied just Germany. Be quiet. Great just, Britain just be occupied quiet. Germany. Be quiet. You can have a be, military just occupation I'm your friend, as long your as there friend, is belligerency that continues. Your former friend, and be quiet for a second. Pretend I'm Epstein, your former friend, and be quiet and listen to what I have to say. Yeah? Whether you, the United States of America did it or not is not an indication of the, inter the leg legality of something. Occupation it's legal. is occupation is by military occupation is, is legal it. while belligerency continues okay. that's the law are you going to be quiet are you going to be quiet i've let you speak for about three or four minutes uninterrupted he asked you two questions and i've stayed quiet why can't, are you okay i'm saying that military occupation of one sovereign nation over another is not something that international law accepts because it contravenes the false sovereign. false it's you're false so give me the evidence to the contrary give me the i'm waiting for you it's it's clear that What's every clear? country that respond. has had you a war a question, has respond. occupied the losing country until belligerency is over. Once belligerency is over, as it was in Germany and Japan, two or three years after the war, the occupation ended. So why is that's it that what if, that's what, if you're saying military if what, occupation okay. is permissible what, what, as long as there's no, belligerency? If what you're, saying, occupation if what is you're not. saying is if what you're saying is true, why have the organs of the United Nations? Condemned the occupation of the uh, Israel. Why? The ICC, they have the condemned, ICJ. They have condemned the civilian aspects of the occupation. They have condemned Nobody, wait, the building on, of settlements, on, hold on, hold on, which I also hold on, condemn. Hold on. What I'm you're talking saying about a military is flying, occupation. You're lying, you're lying just like you to had to when you peace. defended the. Stop it, yes, Mohammed, yes, for goodness sake. Why? It's pathetic. Why? Why is it pathetic? Attacking lawyers for defending people is so pathetic. Being proud of it, yeah. Of all the Being proud of anonymous attacks you could use, it you, is the least effective what do you think of Epstein? and the most embarrassing. Well, you, you're defending him too much today. I think Epstein was a disgusting human so, being. So he's proud of defending him. Do you condemn him for that? I just don't care. I'm talking about Israel. Oh, you don't care now, but why is it disgusting? I'm talking I'm proud about of Israel the Constitution. and the Middle East. Okay, so let's go back to the point. He was just advocating occupying the West Bank, Israel occupying the West Bank. We got to the point where he was saying that's acceptable. I'm saying that if that's acceptable from an international law perspective, then you would expect the ICC and the ICJ and these organs of the United Nations to agree with him on that uh, assessment. They have not agreed with him on that assessment. No, even the United Kingdom doesn't agree with him on that assessment. The, the national position on the occupation of Gaza and the West Bank is that it's illegal. It's effective military control. So you don't know what you are talking about. And, yeah. you, and you were talking about the pager attack and you said about it yeah. that it was an act of military brilliance. I'm sure if it happened here in Sainsbury's and a little white boy was killed, you wouldn't say that, would you?